In the depths of the rainforest, a dappled sunlight breaks through the canopy and highlights the lush greenery and colourful fungi that surround us. Barbara, I think the first thing that hits me as I'm walking through this rainforest is the smell. It's quite powerful, isn't yeah, it? it's fantastic, isn't it? It's all this rich compost and vegetation matter and it's all just rotting away down there and it just smells so alive, doesn't it? Especially in the wet weather. Especially in the wet weather and we've had quite a lot of wet weather in the last couple of days but I think the best place to be in the rain is in a rainforest. Yep, that's right. Yeah, it's a magnificent sight with it all misty and drips coming off the trees. It's a, it's a fantastic time to be in a rainforest. This park is actually a World Heritage listed area, isn't it? So by definition, it's quite unique. What is special to this particular area? The Dorigo National Park is part of the Gondwana Rainforest of Australia World Heritage Area. And it's special because it has links right back to the prehistoric rainforest of the Gondwana subcontinent, which existed 100 million years ago. So those rainforests have evolved slowly and existed and prolonged for all those years until we get these very special rainforests here today that, that show those living links with the rainforests of the past. Certainly the waterfalls are looking pretty spectacular at the moment with all the rain we've had. Is that sort of a characteristic of this area to have some really wonderful waterfalls? It, the waterfalls are pretty special aren't they? We are on the waterfall way and lots of people do travel this way just to see the waterfalls. So here our waterfalls do run all year round. We have good spring fed creeks and streams so there's always some waterfalls to see here in Dorigo.